Several years ago when I was in college, I came across a movie called Including Samuel. It's a documentary about a young boy with cerebral palsy who went through many struggles to try to be included in the day's activities. And this time in my life, I was deeply involved in church and involved in reading a lot of scripture. And there was a story in scripture that talks about the importance of, uh, to God, the importance of the Sabbath. And Jesus ended up saying to some of the critics that the, the Sabbath was created for man, that God created the Sabbath for us, uh, for mankind, it should be said, um, that we weren't created for the Sabbath. And when I watched Including Samuel, I realized something that the school was the same way. We actually created school for children. And what it felt like to me, and it still feels like to me today, is that school or children are being treated as if they were created for the purpose of school. We criticize them when they don't want to be there. We nag them to do work. We punish them for stepping out of line. These things aren't things that we would do if we were building an environment that's for the student. I feel like if we're building an, an environment for the student, we would spend a lot of time watching them and moving things around and shifting things around for them, not necessarily to keep them happy, like some people would assume, but mostly to keep them um, to make sure that they're engaged in meaningful learning. And so the reason I chose this background is this is much of what our, our school looks like at home. It's a little bit dirty, but this space is created for our kids. We don't, we don't keep a super clean yard that our kids have to help maintain. We create an environment that's conducive for their exploration. And so it's dirty, it's messy, there's half dug holes, there's little mounds of dirt, there's dirt on the, there's dirt everywhere. There's bricks and rocks and diggers and trucks and, and broken toys. It's because we know that those things are important for a child to learn about life, to learn about the consequences when you're ramming two trucks together, one of them breaks, well, it's not as usable as it was. Instead of punishing them and criticizing them because they broke something, we, we want them to experience those natural consequences. And I think that's what Self-Directed Academy is a lot about too, is promoting those, those, um, promoting those natural consequences. So we don't punish the students for not learning. We ask, what can we put in place for you so that you can learn? So I hope that you ask yourself, what am I doing? Am, am I creating a school for students or am I creating an environment or am I trying to create a student that fits into a school?